Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly change the appearance of grid lines just to make the drawing look a little bit tidier. So here, for instance, we have, uh, we'll say, grid line number five, and it's needed for this top part of the wing wall on the building up here. And it's also needed for this lower part of the building. But really, in here, in the courtyard area, that grid line it's not really necessary to show it like that as a continuous line. So I'm going to show you how to change that now just to make the drawing look a little bit neater. OK, so what we need to do is select the grid line we're interested in and change the type of it to bubble with gap. So bubble gap. Now, when you click on that, uh, it's kind of subtle, but you might see uh, some little a new little blue um, grip here. If you drag that down, until you go just past where you need it. We can also have a look here and you can see a little bubble here and we'll drag that up. And when you hit escape, uh, you can see that we have grid line five down here, but it's kind of chopped off there. It's, it's hidden uh, and the same up here. Now I've got a, a missing bubble up here. So what I need to do is select that and click up there to put it back. I'm going to do the same with grid line six, just to show you how to do it again. So we select the grid line we're interested in, come over to the type and we change it to bubble gap. We get these little blue circles appearing here. If you click on that and hold and drag it down, you can see a little object snap uh, line tracing across here. So I let go of my mouse wheel now. And I'm going to go down here and do the same thing. I'm going to take this bubble and I'm going to hold my left mouse button, drag the mouse up until it lines up with that one. And then I'm going to let go of my mouse button and tap escape. And it has kind of truncated that one off there as well. Now, if you want to show the uh, bubbles on that, uh, you can. Uh, but to be quite honest, the way it's shown there now is probably sufficient. I'm going to click up here and put the bubble back on the top of that one. OK, so that's just a quick way to show a gap uh, in between the grid lines where you may not need them. Another thing we could do to tidy this up is we can select uh, this grid line here and just drag it back across and it will bring these ones with it. I don't know why it hasn't brought that one, but we'll bring this across here like this. And again, it's just tidying up the drawing a little bit, uh, which makes it look a little bit more presentable. It's not messy in here, and it certainly doesn't have information shown in there that we don't really need in there. So that's a quick way, and it's all about selecting the grid line and changing the style to one that has a gap in it.